We're high in the Mackenzie Mountains hunting doll sheep. If you watched last week, you'll see all we had to go through to get here. The hunting of doll sheep or any animal is really only a small part of it. The big part is just being there and experiencing all the quietness and the fantastic scenery. Hunting doll sheep or any mountain sheep is a lot of work. We're hunting with South Nahani Outfitters and Bob Woodward, Outfitter and Guide. Now it's the last day, my last chance to get my trophy. Probably they're gonna come out. Make their way out this. Maybe not. There's how many? Okay, how many did we see? Four, five, six. Some six is they said there were seven this yeah. morning. There's another cocksucker up there somewhere. Another one laying there someplace. But... Yeah, that round looks all right. I think. It's not that bad actually. But uh, can we get up closer there somehow? And like to the bottom through the trees maybe and glass mm -hmm. up. Or you think they'd spook? to get a closer look at him. It's a lot of effort to, just to get a closer look. Yeah. Got to be have to go for him. Well, I would say you're going to have to just kind of decide yeah. what you want to do. Well, let's go down and look. We'll have a look. All right. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. round. Probably the greatest thing about hunting sheep by horseback is that a lot of the work is taken up by the horses, but just sitting back, enjoying the scenery, the wildlife, and still looking for your trophy really makes it all worthwhile.
Bob Woodward, Robert Warren, and I see a ram in the back far basin. It's the last day, and actually the last few hours, we're going to give it our last shot. It's actually 6 o'clock in the evening. Not a lot of daylight left to be able to get up, get a shot, and get down off the mountain before dark. A walking stick becomes something you can lean on, get a better grip, and also gives you a balancing tool to help you get up these mountains and get across some bad areas. As we climbed, the terrain just got rougher and rougher. The shale was loose and very slippery. At times, whole areas that you're standing on would move. After it's all over, the energy expend is worth it because of the scenes you get to see. As you look back, it seemed easy. As you went through it, you wondered, why am I here? Because we only saw one sheep, Robert Warren decided to stay back. The footing got very bad, and he decided to wait below. I think he's gone, Bob. Man, all that work, all that way. Uh, you know, remember when we were down below there? Yeah. He was in that gully, and we couldn't see him when he came come back this way a ways. Yeah, we just walked a little ways. Yeah, and, and so he might be right behind that shoulder there. God, it looks pretty small, and, uh, I think. Well, he was laid right in there. And, that's uh, right, that's true. You know, he could be around yeah. that corner now, now that I see that. You know, why don't we try something? Why don't you take your your seven there and, and shoot past the hill, kind of above and beyond where he's at, and maybe if he's in there, It'll drive him we this can way. flush him out either that way or, or over this way, and you, and you can get a shot. Can you hit him from how, over there? Well, how far is that? Oh, boy, that's got to be close to 450 yards. Well, if I want to lob a shell into that hillside, how high do you think I got a hill? I got to aim. It was it was three inches high at 100 yards, but that's... Well, you don't want to hit the, the rim of the hill here in front of us. You want to hold plenty high. Okay. And then, uh, and then if he's there, he will he should come back out this way. So I got to get a bullet. If he's gone, he's gone. It's not going yeah, to do any harm. Yeah, they can hurt him his last day. I can't hit this hillside or he'll chase yeah. him that way, so I got to yeah. lob the yeah. bullet. You got to hold plenty high. God, that's about 450 yards. Why don't well, you try that? Let me try that. It's worth it, I guess. 
You want it? Yeah, yeah let me get a rest here. And... Yeah, let's see. Get that. Where's the rest of your shells here? Yeah, let's get them just in case there is something there. Um, pack here. I think. I got okay. nothing here. I don't see anything, Bob. Holy cow, look it! He's coming out of the there, bottom. There he comes out of the gully right there. Shoot. Okay, that's about, uh... He's coming at us. Oh, yeah, that's about, oh, 350 yards. Okay. I'm gonna hold right on him. Shot just over. He's still coming. He's yeah, coming. He's, right coming. he's about. Uh, he's only about oh, uh, 250 somewhere there. Okay. Hold down a little on him. He's coming. He's getting closer now. Just let him come until he stops, if you will. Okay, okay there he is. Now okay. getting a little lower. Just let him have Hold just a little lower. Yeah, yeah, I got him. Got him. All right. <laughs> How'd I shoot? Jeez, him? I don't believe that. Holy crap. See, I thought he was gone. He was in the... Come right over that close. See. That shot you put in the gully brought him right out of there. He didn't know where we were or anything. Wow. Holy <laughs> crap. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. Good shot. Gee whiz, this sucker shoots a mile. What a flat shooting gun. Holy cow, I was worried about how high to aim to lob yeah. that shell in there. And I aimed at a thing, you know, figuring and that's exactly where it hit and it had to be 500 yards away. <laughs> Jeez, this is a you gun. Could, you could have killed him right over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I was thinking that we got to climb all that way to get him now. At least yeah, he's, he's closer. For he's probably two hundred yards, and we still got to get off of this mountain. All uh, that work. We can go down it. this way, I think, rather than that way when we. Get oh up to him. boy, I don't believe that worked. I don't believe I was ready to go because I figured, you know, well, you could see everywhere through here, and there ain't nothing. There's lots of tricks to the tree. God, that's a good <laughs> trick. I'll never ever forget. Boy, oh, that's real good. Yeah. All I saw that white shadow coming out of the bottom. I figured the day's over, the trip's over. Never over till it's last, over. The last day, about just about the <laughs> last. <hour>. Yeah, <laughs> it happened in Russia once. This beats that. God darn good. it, I don't believe it. He's a nice ram. Oh, it's, it's a ram. ram. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Boy, that worked perfect because I loved. Good thing is a flat shooting gun. If I didn't have a, if I had a worse, I mean, not as flat a shooting gun, and I'd hit that rim, he'd yeah, have went he the, other the other way, and then yeah, I'd have never yeah. gotten. If you went up that gully, we wouldn't have seen him. And that was a perfect spot to aim too, because he must have been laying right underneath yeah. it. We just, he's yeah. probably laying. Yeah, I think he was probably still laying there. See, it kind of goes out of sight behind the rim. Now, the when I look at it closely, I could see. But when I was up here earlier, I looked and I figured he's gone. I can't, you know, I don't know where he went, but... Well, we rolled quite a bit of rocks getting up here. Yeah, we sure did. Oh, God. So, uh, you know, I thought he might oh, be gone, too, but it's worth a try. Yeah, was, we, we, yeah, to we got nothing to lose at all. Shoot so. the gun a little bit. We know it shoots. It shoots like a straight as an arrow. <laughs> Boy. Oh, God darn it. Well, that's what good. A hunt. We need to get up there and uh, get him skinned have out have and then think about slip. look at him. Yeah. You pick up your empties or? Yeah, I got them all. There's, there's one, one here. More. Stick them in this bag. And okay. Get up there. Oh, boy, I don't believe that worked. Jeez, because I figured, you know, you look there, you can see everything. There ain't nothing around. Sure was. That's real good. Ah, uh, I thought this. I thought it was about all over, but now we got our work oh. cut out for us. Yeah, but now we, we know it's rewarding work. Although I don't know if I should put this coat on. It's There's another empty. Kind of cool. Well, maybe I'll leave it on, huh? Yeah, the wind's kind of coming up. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I never, I would have bet a million dollars he was gone. Well, I thought he was too until Jeez. got to looking over there. What I saw, all I saw was this white thing lifting up. Yeah. He was, thought, there he is. He was headed our and way. And he was headed our <laughs> way. That's the good part. That would, because there, if we'd had a climb there yet. At least now we got them right to the tip yeah. here, and if we want to go that yeah, way, I think we can go down this I way. I think when we came up, I saw a ridge coming that was a little bit more gradual. Yeah, I hope and so. I, earlier I walked all the way up to that grass, so oh, yeah. it ain't this, too bad. This, this is not too good here, but if we can find an easier way, we'll, we'll take it. Oh. oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I don't know if I've ever been so happy after all the work. That's why. 
You know, if it was just coming oh, that's up what, here. That's what makes it worth it. You see all this. Oh. If it was easy, then you wouldn't think much of it. Oh, God. It's so hard. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> and it'd be able, because you could see so far, and to be able to hit something so far, boy, oh. that seven millimeter, I'll swear by that for sheep hunting. Well, that, they're good, they're good sheep. Guys. That's just like, an, I mean, I aim. You're going to kill them over there. If you yeah. On that and that's like there. 500 yards. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You could have killed him dead on the microwave. Oh my there. gosh. Gee whiz, I'm really impressed with that gun. Well, should we head up there? Yeah, let's get going. We got a lot to do yet. You think about 36, full curl? Yeah, a nice full curl. Yeah, I, I think that's, uh, I think you could go 36. I don't have a tape here. Yeah, but I, oh, that's a fine trophy of the last you day. <laughs> well, thanks for a great hunt. You bet. Oh, I now we got to get off this mountain okay. with our trophy and yeah. head we'll, for home. Uh, we'll get him caped out here. Real Alrighty, quick. I'll give you a hand here. Well, there you got two fine trophies, a great Mount Caribou with a double shovel and a 37-inch ram. Uh, looks like a, God, almost a f curl and a quarter. That's here to curl in an eighth to a curl and a quarter, somewhere in there. Anyway, yeah. any one of these is a trophy. Yeah, anybody that shoots a, a sheep really deserves it. There's no easy climbs. No, <laughs> there, no, there isn't. You deserve it. It's, it's another world when you do get up there to see you bet. what it is like. I mean, it is another world, literally, and uh, and that's their domain up there, and it does take a lot of work to to go after it. That was a long shot. Yeah, quite a ways. As I mentioned before, I think by the time my grandkids come along, it should be at least eight or nine hundred <laughs> yards. It uh, and I guess you're telling me it was almost eleven o'clock at night, so you just, just had no more last light, last, last light. light going over the hill. Oh, and, hit or uh, miss. That's it, huh? And we got lucky. Boy, because that's the nice thing about hunting up here in July is you do have a long day and it it makes it a little bit, well, you made you got your ram if it had been a little later at 11 o'clock, it would have been pitch dark, it would have been no way. But, Absolutely. And, uh, of course, beautiful horns, a little uh, tight horns. Everyone's been a little different, but, boy, what a beautiful trophy. You really deserve this one, I can tell you that, and a nice caribou. Actually, that, I mentioned before, too, that, that I have a barren ground, but uh, I don't have a woodland or a mountain yeah uh, and and that one has a double shovel on it so that yeah double shovel is one I'm as almost as excited about that as yeah I well, you really did well sheep, you got... but th this was work this was tr <laughs> truly work. <laughs> well again congratulations on thank two you. fine trophies thank you way to go How long have you been operating up here? This is our 18th year up here. 18th year? Yeah. Really? Yeah. It's, wow. Uh, I didn't know you did it that long. I don't know whether it seems oh, longer God. than that or... Uh, <laughs> really? Or it doesn't seem that long. <laughs> have you still got him on? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's still there. Boy, you so you really know... But you, I looked on the map, you've got a huge area. Yeah, we got about uh, 15,000 square miles we hunt in. 15,000 square miles? Some places. Uh, Have you seen it all? No. <laughs> we haven't been. Uh, we try and go someplace new every year, maybe yeah. once or yeah. something, you know, but we haven't been. Just some, kind of do a little exploring. Uh huh. 
and uh, now not only do you have the horse hunts like we're doing but you also have backpack yeah we backpack into some of the far out areas that's get that's too far to get with the horses like on one trip and that's a hunter that likes to backpack he has a choice yeah you, you have to have the right kind of a hunter for that you know it has to be somebody that's done some backpacking and uh, knows yeah what it's like yeah. to carry a 40 or 50 pound yeah. pack you know out maybe 10 miles or every whatever. day and uh, so uh, you're you're more limited uh, with uh, backpacking because you're limited to a pretty tough gung-ho type hunter uh -huh. whereas horse hunting uh, some of us old fellows can still <laughs> ride around and uh, you know yeah uh, it makes you, you it can take a person that's not too experienced with backpacking or something yeah. and you can horse hunt him around. And, and an older fellow. Or older, I've had some fellows that were 70 years old. Really? Yeah. Wow. And still done real well and got sheep and you know we try and keep them on their horse as much as we can and, and then we pick some place that the country's a little easier. Yeah. You know. Why don't we do that for me? Well, <laughs> you're not, you, you haven't quite hit that age yet. You're, you're still... <laughs> You know. Well, you're ahead of me. I'll tell you, you're older than I am, and you're doing a lot better than I've been doing. But these, uh, uh, you know, uh, that's good. If to you know get a that. young gung ho type hunter, and you just put a young gung ho type guide with them, yeah. and they can just gung ho oh, all yeah. over the place. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, with horses, you can hunt a uh, some older gentleman. Yeah. And, you know, and it makes it better for them. Now, besides the sheep, what else do you hunt? Well, we take a lot of caribou. Uh, we take. Uh, some goats and we get some wolves and wolverine. Yeah, wolverine too? Uh, yeah, we get the odd wolverine. I don't send every hunter home with a goat or yeah. with a wolf or anything, yeah. but we encourage the hunters to buy several licenses. Uh, they just, for the sake of the $25 yeah. each. You know, that's and that's a nice way of hunting. doing it. And then if they see a wolf when they're hunting sheep or caribou or something, they're licensed to take it. So that so you buy the license, which is twenty five dollars, and then if you shoot the animal, then you pay the hundred dollar trophy fee to the uh, to the government uh, after. And if they don't shoot the animal, then they don't pay the trophy. Yeah, fee, and so it's it's worth to have those yeah, tags because yeah. the money is going to good use. Yeah, and uh, and a hunter doesn't mind spending that, and he'll buy a little bit more than he normally would, but it's going to wildlife, yeah. so it's yeah. it's uh, yeah, it helps out in every in every way. Like that. So you try to manage then your areas as far as what you take? Well, and I've always kind of felt, you know, that uh, when I get ready to uh, uh, hang up my sheep hunting <laughs> boots, and I, I think, I, I'd like to think that I would, that I had left the country in about as good a shape as when I was when I came here. Yeah, you know? that's good. And uh, there's, uh, you know, if you move into an area and you just hunt it right down, well, yeah. you know, you're kind of wrecked. Yeah, you know, and, and there's nothing left for and, uh, future. Yeah. Hunters will come. They get off the plane, and they're uh, they're well pressed, and yeah. their uh, fingernails are very well <laughs> manicured and everything. And uh, you know, ten days later when they go, <laughs> go they look kind of like me. You know, their, their fingernails are a bit scarfed up, and uh, there's no dress in their beard. But they got a smile on their face, yeah. and you can tell if they've had a good trip. Yeah, there. yeah. And so I, I think that uh, they'll remember the trip. Yeah. You know, years later, the when they get back to the office or do whatever they do in, in the world, you know, they'll think back on that trip that they had. Because, you know, this is probably one of the last places in all of North America where it, it is still a real wilderness. See, we're, we're 200 air miles from the nearest road. 200 miles. 200 air miles, and, and by golly, you know, that's a long ways these yeah. days. Yeah. Uh, so we encourage the hunters when they come to, uh, everybody likes to get their game. Sure. You know, and, uh, but we encourage the guys to kind of uh, enjoy the trip. Yeah. The camping, the horses, the, the uh, you know, the, the, the camaraderie. Uh, right, of all the other hunters. The, That's know, the whole thing. And so forth. And, sure, hunting, and the I, killing is. I think it makes a, I mean, it's nice to get your trophies, but if a hunter comes up and shoots, say, two or three animals, jumps on the plane and goes home. Yeah. Uh, if that's all he really got out of it, then he's missing something. And I.
We hope you enjoyed the outdoor world of castaway coolers. And be sure to join us again next week at the same time to enter the outdoor world of castaway coolers. If you have a question about something you've seen on today's show or have any ideas for future shows, contact Castaway Coolis at 725 Broadway, Bedford, Ohio, 44146.